What's up guys? Baker here. Today I got a tutorial. This is the uh, Bouncy Titles tutorial and basically what this is is um, in the Arcade Cloud promo. It uh, goes to each title and is kind of bouncy. So let's take a quick preview of what we got. The greatest thing on YouTube in the history of its existence. One channel featuring tons of YouTubers, big and small. So you can see when it goes to each new title, it kind of bounces and wiggles back and big forth a little and bit. And uh, makes it pretty energetic and very fun. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's make a new composition. Uh, looks good, 720p. Alright, let's make a new null object. And let's make that 3D. And then let's make a new camera. 35 millimeters is fine. Okay. And let's hook up the uh, camera to the null object. So pick up there. And we can rename this to cam control if you want. Alright. So let's take some text. And let's just type in here, I don't know, title one. So pretty much centered, whatever. And that looks good. Let's make that 3D as well. And let's keyframe the position of the cam control. So let's zoom in here. Let's go to, let's say, uh, one and a half seconds. Let's keyframe that. Let's also keyframe the rotation. So shift R. Oh, uh, yeah. So Z rotation. All right. And go back to zero seconds. And let's just scoot back in Z space. Hold shift to uh, go faster. Let's also rotate. So let's turn the null object off. So we're just flying in here space coming in boom first title boom but it's very static not very fun so how do we uh, bounce this well there's a handy dandy expression over here and we can just copy this and we can just go to position alt click the position and paste alright so now it starts to kind of jiggle and wiggle you can find this expression online anywhere just search up uh, after Effects bounce expression. I also have a um, a preset for you guys. I made it just uses that ex same expression. Just uh, let's see, bounce expression. So if we drag that onto Cam Control, we have this uh, bounce expression with a slider on it. So if I push U, this bounce expression. So imagine this wasn't here yet. Just go in here copy all this and you can paste it to your position keyframes as well and let's do that to rotation too so paste that and now we don't need this bounce expression anymore and there we go so let's take a look at that real quick see what the default settings are alright so it kind of wiggles a little too long so if we go into the expressions here we slide down we have amplitude, frequency, and decay. So what these are, um, amplitude is how much it wiggles. So if I increase this to, let's say, 5, it should wiggle uh, more Yeah, craziness. So yeah, so we can mess around with that. I'm going to keep it down to 0.05. Frequency is how fast it wiggles. So if I made this 14, should wiggle super fast. Let's take a look at that. Crazy jittery. I don't like that look, so I'm going to keep it down at 4. And then decay is just how long it's going to wiggle. The higher the value, the uh, faster it will decay. So if I had this at 15, it will kind of just slide into place. Oh. Something broke. So don't do 15, I guess. I don't know. So let me just uh, put that back down to 2 or whatever. So you can mess around with those values. Um, a couple other things to make this a little bit more uh, fun, I guess. Let's take these first two keyframes and let's easy ease out. But if we go to the graph editor, let's actually just select one of them, the position here. Let's flatten this out. So it starts slow and then speeds up right 
into the title. Same thing with rotation. Let's flatten this out. So it starts slow, speeds up, boing, boom. All right, so let's make another another title. So what we can do is take our cam control after a couple seconds, keyframe the position and the rotation again, and go forward. And then let's just slide to the right. So I'm going to hold shift, slide to the right. Let's duplicate our title. Let's uh, check the position and also slide that to the right until we can see it back on our screen again. So I can call this title 2. And let's also rotate the title. So let's rotate it Z axis. Let's make it 90. And let's just reposition this in the middle. So we uh, took the cam control, we slid to this position, but we also need to now rotate in the right direction. So make this 90 as well. So from title one, we'll slide over here, and here comes title two. And let's do the same thing. Let's take these first keyframes, and let's easy ease out. So for the position, graph editor, just bring this handle out so it starts slow and speeds up. Same thing with rotation, slow, speeds up. So let's take a look at that. Yeah, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, just using the expression. Now, this doesn't have to be used for titles or... Uh, camera controls, you can use this, let's say I make a new composition real quick, let's make a new solid, new white solid, let's make a little square, let's say like 300 by 300, and let's scale this from 0, and zoom in here, to 100. So this looks really boring, but if we paste our expression back in here, now it wiggles. So this bounce expression can be used for pretty much anything, really, anything keyframable. Um, yeah, pretty fun. But now you can make some cool looking, uh, what's it called, lyric videos or uh, slideshows kind of stuff. But that's pretty much it, bounce expression. I'll uh, provide a download link to the preset in the description. Uh, don't import it, you just have to put it in your uh, presets folder uh, in your After Effects directory. So one more thing that I would like to add would be a little bit of a uh, wiggle to the overall camera. But the cam control already has expressions on the position and rotation, so how do we handle that? Well, luckily, the camera, remember, the camera is parented to the null, so we can add expressions to the camera. So if I go to position, Alt click and wiggle this maybe 2 and maybe, I don't know, 15 pixels. Let's take a look at that real quick. So, kind of moves a little bit. Um, we can also go to rotation. Now, there's three rotations. So, you can either do each rotation individually or we can just do orientation, which does all of them at the same time. So, wiggle 2. And how many degrees? Well, we don't want it to be too extreme, so maybe two degrees of rotation. So it just kind of moves a little bit. It looks a little too intense. So maybe bring this down to 0.5 for the speed. So let's take a look at that. And yeah. It's coming in. And moving and wiggling and cool stuff. So. Yeah, and one final thing is just, of course, add motion blur. Makes it a lot better, I think. Cool stuff. And yeah, that is pretty much it. Like and favorite. Hit me up if you have any questions. Uh, Facebook and Twitter, all that good stuff. Hope you enjoyed and make something cool. All right, peace.